One of my clients asked about how I work with my timeline and objects that appear to come on screen in time with narration. And I thought it might be easier rather than to explain my process to just show my process. So here's an example of a uh, agenda slide or if you will, a learning objective slide. So um, I have these four key um, lessons or topics about the this particular um, e-learning project and um, you know how do I work that so they appear in time with the narration so really all I do is I play back the uh, the timeline so the first uh, item there is right off the bat the and you can you can position the playhead on your timeline to coincide with that and just move it and it, as you can hear, it just starts that narration at the point where the play playhead is. And I can tap it a bunch of times to make sure I'm in the right spot. And then in this case here, I want these objects to appear uh, not before that. So I'm going to select all of them. Eventually, I'm going to move them all to unique positions. And then continue to play back the, uh, the narration. I always do my narration first. So there's the next point. Uh, what, should what should be reported is the second point here. So I'm going to unselect the first item and drag the remaining three items over to that point there and then continue to play it back. What should be reported? How to create and then, you know, you can kind of gauge it too by looking at the timeline and seeing on the where the narration or where the sentence is actually occur. So I'm going to unselect the one that was just positioned and then drag the remaining two to line up with this spot here. How to create a report. 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 So I could even move them a little bit more. You don't want them to show up too early, but you don't want them to show up too late. And then the last one is finding um, finding information out. So How to create a report and what happens when you submit it. Where you can go to find so maybe with the word find, maybe it doesn't have to be the beginning of the sentence, but so if I want that last one to hit the word find, because finding is in the title of that, I can do that. And then the, the end result is something that should look pretty cool because everything will be timed in time with the narration. The narration is extremely important. That's where the, to me anyway, in the e-learning courses I develop, whether it's a human narration or text-to-speech narration, I prefer human, um, you know, that's where the, the, the true uh, content is located. But, you know, I use the on-screen text to sort of hit those key points or hit those keywords um, and, and really have them stick with the learner. So let's just take a look at the next five slides so you can see what the effect is here of this. Today, you will learn about the role and value of the SMS program. What should be reported? How to create a report and what happens when you submit it. Where you can go to find resources on SMS information, such as policies that support... If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help building your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com. Follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.